Welcome everyone. It's Wisdom Wednesday, a meditation class with Magdalena Grace. Great morning, great afternoon, good evening. Maybe you're seeing this on the replay, the recording inside of our subscription vault. Today's uh, is going to be a very simple meditation. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of people talking about different stressors, not being able to get unstuck from maybe feeling a trauma, uh, feeling shame, doubt, fear, scarcity. <laughs> um, there's been a lot of conversations around money. Um, at the time of this recording, of course, is uh, still New Year's resolutions period. If if you observe that or not, it doesn't matter. Every day is a new day. Every hour, a new hour. Every month, a new month. You always have the opportunity to hit the reset button. So that's what this meditation is for. If you catch yourself in monkey mind, if you catch yourself feeling sorry for yourself, if you catch yourself angry and it's not serving you, if you catch yourself uh, falling upon an addictive behavior again, things of that nature, which, oh, by the way, all of that, <laughs> very still much can happen for me. I used to think it happened to me. And now I know I created it. Um, my higher self created it for me to get my attention, to have tools that can help me pull myself out of the shadows and into the light. You've heard me and my husband talk a ton about shadow work this month because we're launching a shamanic initiation. I'm also gonna be doing a lot of focus work with that with my clients, my one-on-one, -on -one, as well as my group clients. And it's so important to transmute that shadow into light. So essentially what we're gonna do is, is maybe not even 10 minutes could be longer. Um, I don't time it, I go with, the spirit leading me. Um, we're going to start with a simple gratitude exercise and then go right into a total of five minutes of a breathing and guided visualization that's meant to cleanse and clear the, the toxicity, the free radicals, the upset, whatever it is. We I named a bunch of examples already. And then be able to, and then if you wanted to, um, even when this is complete, you can stay in that trance-like state that I'm going to help facilitate you to be in um, and stay there as long as you want to meditate, visualize uh, your day. If you're doing this in the early morning hours with me, uh, you could also do this before you go to bed. Oh my gosh, to help you maybe fall asleep faster and stay asleep. Maybe in the middle of the night you wake up and you're stressed about something, money, maybe you have insomnia naturally do this. Okay. Come back to this kind of like your safety net. A couple of things for ambiance. If this calls to you having some incense burning, maybe you light a candle. If you've been inside of my subscription for a long time, I always love setting the stage. Uh, you don't necessarily need um, to have music, but you could have some light music playing. Um, you want to be able to hear my voice. That's why I am not playing music for you. I want to empower you as the sovereign beings as you are to choose on your side of this recording. If you want to listen to some singing bowls on YouTube, or if you want to listen to some song, again, that doesn't have words, but then can help you, you know, set that, that, that ambiance sound is so healing. And again, you have the power to choose that. All right, so let's begin. You can go ahead and close your eyes. You can be seated or lying down for this meditation. So again, be seated or lying down for this meditation. If you are seated, again, closing your eyes, feel your spine stacked and aligned. Feel your feet firmly planted on the ground. And just notice if your breath is shallow or deep. If you're lying down on a bed, no problem. I just want you to feel held. I want you to feel supported by the surface, the chair, the bed, the cushion beneath you. And go ahead and breathe in deeply through the belly. Inhale through the belly. Chest. Exhale, belly flatten chest flatten. So think of it like an ocean wave going up and down, going in and out. I'm going to give you the opportunity to do a couple more of those. 
Just a couple more. Inhale through the belly first, then the chest. Noticing on each inhale how you feel as you're inhaling love and light. As you're exhaling any negative thoughts, emotions, feelings. Then we're going to do one collective inhale on my command. You're going to inhale four counts through the nose slowly. Keep breathing while I talk. You're going to hold the breath at the top after I count to four, and then you're going to sip in a little more air through the mouth with the straw, and then you're going to sigh it out loudly through the mouth, letting go of your cares and worries, concerns. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Inhale through the nose. Begin now. One, two, three, four. Hold at the top. Sip in a little more air with the straw. Pause for a second. Suspending the breath, suspends the mind, clears it. And then let it all go through the mouth. Ah. Now go ahead and put your left hand on your heart. It has been said that the heart is a seat of your soul, the home of your truth, unconditionally loving, forgiving, kind, passionate. And I want you to just allow your mind to be quiet as you drop into your heart, the vast, beautiful, delicious spaciousness of your heart, your childlike innocence. And I want you to just whether it's out loud speaking it or silently inside of you, share three things that you are grateful for, preferably about yourself. I'm gonna give you some silence to speak inside or out loud, three things that you are grateful for about yourself. Beautiful. No matter how many you got, just giving yourself an acknowledgement for coming up with something. Attitude of gratitude is a great way to help us shift our energy. And now what we're going to do, you can drop your hand, continuing to breathe, nice belly expanding, chest expanding breaths for the moment. Now we want to cleanse and clear and do a channel breathing exercise to help you cleanse and clear any of those negative thoughts, energies, emotions, energetically, just to shift the energy. You have the power. You are a healer inside of yourself, regardless of what your profession is, your gender, your religion, etc. does not matter. This is for all beings who want to shift their consciousness and shift out of a state of negativity of any kind. So I want you to now imagine, as you continue to breathe deep, imagine a big blazing ball of white, pure light above your head, two feet. Two feet above what we call the crown chakra, which is at the top of your skull, top of your head. See that ball? It can be swirling like a disco ball. It can be still, just blazing full of light. So much so that it's almost like a sun. And imagine that light is from God, source, creator, higher consciousness. Again, whatever you believe in that provides energy for us, that connects us all. And I want you to breathe in. See the light come from that ball into your crown chakra. Breathe into your crown chakra. Breathe through your, your eye, third eye, your throat, into your chest. And then as it gets to your solar plexus, 
I want you to exhale and push the air out of your belly, out through your root chakra, your perineum, out through your anus, into the earth. Let's do that again. Breathe in again through that white ball, pulling that white source energy light. As it comes to your crown chakra, then it goes to your third eye. Keep breathing in, goes through your throat. Keep breathing in, goes through your heart, chest. And then it transmutes and it's pushing out all of that dark energy, any blockages from your lower three chakras into the earth. Let's do that one more time for practice, bringing in the energy from the pure source light filled ball into the crown, breathing in through the third eye, seeing that light come through the throat chakra, the light's going through your heart. And then you breathe out, exhaling, pushing out the light through your root chakra into the earth. Now you have a ball beneath you two feet. Now inhale, breathing from the pure source light ball two feet below you into the root, up through your sacral, up through your solar plexus, exhaling through your heart, through your throat, through your third eye, exhaling, pushing that air up into that ball. And we're doing this for another five minutes, alternating. You're going to be breathing in from now your crown. I'm going to start the timer. Breathing in through the crown and going all the way down to that point where you're going to exhale. Down through the lower three chakras. Imagine, visualize, and tend. Just keep doing this. Now breathing through that ball beneath you and bringing that white, pure source light energy. That light is like a paintbrush, just painting your central column, your, your central nervous system, calming you. Continuing to deeply breathe, continuing to push out anything that no longer serves you, whether it's shame, fear, doubt, anxiety, depression, any negative energies, thoughts, emotions, maybe an argument, maybe an addictive behavior. Continue that breathing. I've started the timer. I'm going to give you some silence to continue this breathing pattern for a total of five minutes. Again, deeply breathing in, love, light, that pure source light energy from that ball. And when you're exhaling out, you're just letting go of the stuff that no longer serves you. Letting go of the stuff that no longer serves you. You're just about halfway. If it's possible, deepen the breath even deeper. Go inside even deeper. Noticing how your body feels. Really noticing anything that comes up for you and allowing it to be there. Breathing in through any parts of you that may be extra stuck, if you're feeling any tension, just give it some extra breath, some extra love. Breathing deep helps all. You come off the breath pattern, no, no worries. If you're feeling asleep, just come back. Come back to the cycling, alternating breath, cleansing and clearing all of your chakras, your energy centers, your life force, your prana, your chi. At 90 seconds.
Continuing to deepen your breath, noticing how your body's changing. Notice how you are changing. That you are cleansing and clearing. You are co-creating with your breath, the stillness, the sweetness, the calmness that is you. Knowing and trusting that you can come back to this at any time. We got time for two more. So keep going wherever you're at, completing two more cycles up through the root and out through the crown and then in through the crown, out through the root, wherever you're at. And when you are complete with that last and final exhale, just Go back to regular breathing. Noticing how you feel. Maybe you feel weightless. Maybe you have tingling. Maybe you had messages divinely inspired for you. Maybe not. It's all perfect. There is no right or wrong here. I'm going to end this just allowing you to stay in the space on your own reminding you to just breathe and maybe visualizing and imagining your day or this next hour whenever you listen to this. Maybe you're listening to this before bed, allowing yourself to speak to your higher self, asking for beautiful dreams, asking for clarity. Otherwise, imagine and visualize and tend the next hour of your life or the next part of your day, shifting out of the energy that got you maybe stuck or feeling the way you were feeling that brought you to this meditation. Letting go of that which no longer serves, coming back into your creative imagination, your heart, what it is that you want for your life, for your highest and greatest good and the good of all around you. Enjoy, stay in this space as long as you can. Come back to this whenever you need. Namaste.